Hey, hey, everyone, it is Andrew here from MAO Magic. There are a ridiculous number of robotic vacuum cleaners out there. Uh, a lot of the big ones from Roomba and iLife and a lot of them. Well, the one that we wanted to test out most was the one from Xiaomi. They've got a bunch of really cool products. They're kind of very mimicking Apple and a lot of stuff they do, but they're just in a ridiculous number of markets and a lot of different product categories. And you can easily tell this is one of the best looking robotic vacuum cleaners out there. So is it just looks or does it actually do its job? Well, we took this for a spin and we found out. So inside of the box, you'll have the vacuum cleaner itself and then a box of various accessories. Inside of that box of accessories, the biggest accessory is going to be the actual docking station itself, which also looks very nice and is very minimalistic. Aside from the docking station, you're also gonna have a sort of other thing is like combs that'll help you remove something like hair from the blades or the fan thing on the bottom of your vacuum. And then of course, power cables to actually plug this thing in and get it charged. There are these two contacts on the side of the dock itself. You know, both of those will line up to contacts on the side of the vacuum cleaner. On the back of the docking station, this is really nice. It actually has a cord management system built in. A lot of the other ones have really bulky power connectors and they just kind of, there's cords laying around. Not this one, it works really nicely. You plug in the cord, then you just wind it around the edge until you get the appropriate length that you need for your location. The cord itself also looks kind of nice. I mean, it's not a big black ucky, ucky transistor that plug into the wall and there's like a ton of space there. It is just a very simple, nice cord uh, that isn't going to be in the way too much. Again, the vacuum cleaner will just back itself in to the actual docking station. The top of the vacuum will lift up. There are two buttons along the front and then the compartment here in the middle, which is going to fill up with all your debris that you can go ahead and clean. I would definitely recommend it cleaning this fairly often because it's not a huge con a container to hold everything, but as long as it's reg running regularly, it theoretically should not be getting too full to begin with. Inside of this thing is a ridiculous battery. It has a 5200 milliamp hour battery inside as well as 1800 PA of suction. So it's got a lot of suction here. I really didn't see too much of an issue with that suction blower picking everything up. It's got a really, really fast running agitator, actually 1350 RPM. So a really quick thing there that's going to help really brush that up. And it has 10 millimeter close clearance around your edges. So as you're going around the edges of your house, it can get really close in there. Thanks to those little blades that are there on the side. You can easily remove the fan blade, I guess is what you want to call it here, the agitator, you can remove that. So if you have something like hair getting all wrapped up in there, they even have a tool inside that allows you to help cut that off. I was also impressed with the wheels on this thing. They both are spring loaded and it works really well on different train services as you will see in some of these demo videos here in a second of it actually running on like kind of like hybrid floors that are half carpet, half hardwood and even a chair in there. It was really able to maneuver around. Now this thing just has a ridiculous amount of technology built in, but really what it does, it's going to scan the room, build a 3D image of that room, which you can actually kind of see in the app, then it plots its course and will go around the edge and then do just a zigzag pattern over that to kind of clean up. I was really impressed at how well it did here on edges. So here we have carpet and we have hardwood. It's literally able to keep in a straight line and pick up all that hay and everything else that's underneath. It also got into a bit of a sticky situation here between carpet, hardwood, and a slanted chair, and yet it was still able to get out fairly easily and get right on track with pretty much no interruption. So I was very surprised at how well it was able to do in those weird situations. It's also really cool to see in live view in the app where the robotic, robotic vacuum is going and it's like drawing its path inside of the app. So you can actually see your house, your apartment, and where it has gone and where it has yet to go. Inside of the app, you can actually turn it on and off, you can schedule it, and you can send it back to your dock. When it is ready to go back to the dock, it'll find the dock really fast, it'll go ahead and turn around, then slowly back itself in until those two contacts come in, come in contact with the contacts on the dock itself, so it can go ahead and charge up for its next use. After you get done vacuuming, you can open up this top, again, there's that compartment, it is full of debris, hay, hair, dust, any gross stuff that's been on your floor that it has picked up, you can dump that out and you can even wash out the filter on the back side of it. So should you buy this vacuum? Well, it depends. I've had very good luck with it. I have no problems with it. The biggest issue that I have is that some of the app is in Chinese. 
it was not really great if you don't speak Chinese, but it was so easy to use that I didn't really have any qualms with that. And it's going to be a lot cheaper than a lot of the ones out there. It's significantly cheaper than the iRobot ones, and I think it does a lot better job than the lower end models from iRobot, all of those Roomba models. So if you're looking for a very solid vacuum that is cheaper than a lot of the Roombas, this is definitely one that you should check out. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for MAO Magic.